Good morning. King Zedekiah has a question for his prisoner, the prophet Jeremiah. Is there a word from the Lord? Our reading is Jeremiah 37, verses 16 to 21. When Jeremiah entered the dungeon and the cells, and Jeremiah had remained there many days, then Zedekiah the king sent and took him out. The king asked him secretly in his house, and said, Is there any word from the Lord? And Jeremiah said, There is. Then he said, You shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. Moreover, Jeremiah said to King Zedekiah, What offense have I committed against you, against your servants, or against this people, that you have put me in prison? Where now are your prophets who prophesied to you, saying, The king of Babylon will not come against you or against this land? Therefore, please hear now, O my lord the king, please let my petition be accepted before you, and do not make me return to the house of Jonathan the scribe, lest I die there. Then Zedekiah the king commanded that they should commit Jeremiah to the court of the prison, and that they should give him daily a piece of bread from the baker's street until all the bread in the city was gone. Thus Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. Jeremiah is in prison in harsh conditions. They're harsh enough that he's concerned that he might die while he's imprisoned and under those conditions. Then Zedekiah the king calls for him. Hey, is there any word from the Lord he wants to know? And Jeremiah says, yes, there is. I'm sure Zedekiah was all ears there, but Jeremiah said, you will be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. That wasn't what Zedekiah wanted to hear. Not at all. Zedekiah was hoping that God had changed his mind. Zedekiah was hoping that something new and different was coming along. No, God was working the same plan that he'd been working with the kingdom of Judah all this time. Now God, he's the Lord. He doesn't change. When he has a plan to work to redeem his people, he's going to push on that plan. He's going to carry it through. Sometimes we have this idea that our prayers are to change God's mind, but actually our prayers are to change our mind. We want to be in harmony with God's plan. And if we think that if we pray enough, God will change his mind. I think we have kind of a strange viewpoint about the way God is, is working. Now, Jeremiah asks the king, what has he done wrong? Why is he imprisoned in this harsh situation? And we see Zedekiah here at his uh, regular flip-floppy best. So the king agrees to that, and he gives him a food ration along with everybody else. He's going to get a piece of bread every day. Things are getting worse and worse in the city. The king doesn't have a lot to offer Jeremiah, but he's going to go ahead and lighten his prison situation, and he's going to give him some food. So there's not a lot that Zedekiah can do. I mean, the city's under siege, strong siege, but he does a little bit for Jeremiah. And when Jeremiah asks for some relief, actually that gives Zedekiah an opportunity to do something good for Jeremiah. So this wasn't just good for Jeremiah. This was also good for Zedekiah's soul as well. It's not wrong to seek a reduction in our suffering. It's just not. We can seek that, but if God chooses not to reduce it, then we should be learn to be content with that. God is on your side. He's not going to let you suffer to no purpose. He has a purpose in what he permits. So Zedekiah does Jeremiah some good, and so there's a little bit of mercy on his part, and that's good for Zedekiah. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be satisfied with your word. Help us to be willing to trust you, and you'll be with us in the different situations we're in. We know it's true. We know you're trustworthy. We've, we've learned it by experience. We've proven you, so to speak. Lord, uh, you are faithful. So help us to be faithful and true to you. Watch over us and let us be your children. Help us to know when we pray that we need our hearts to be changed. It's not about changing you or giving you some wisdom you are lacking. Not at all. Thank you for hearing our prayers and, and being our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the word of the Lord is the same as it was before. God is purging the kingdom of Judah. He's going to accomplish his purpose, and prayer is not to change God's heart. It's to change ours. God be with you today in all that you do.